what's up everybody it's your boy the legendary borak in today's video i honestly hope you guys will leave me some comments in the comment section because i want your guys' thoughts on this and i honestly think i'm onto something i don't even want to talk a lot i just want to get right into the information well we've seen this type of image before I don't know if you guys remember in the operations section where we had to get incels throughout the war zone operations because it was in the war zone map but let's talk about the report that you see right in front of you it talks about arrived at a pickup location for chem bio container but it was long gone now if you backtrack this it talks about the hidden cargo now if you go through the multiplayer maps you can see that hidden cargo a lot and there's so much information i'm gonna include in this video today now if you guys look at the notes it talks about davidson was repairing the uav we recover from the airport attack we need someone to take over it also talks about allegiance fighting their own sides now this is really really interesting now let's go to the most amazing part about this information that i'm trying to give you guys okay guys if you see the image here watch this image yes that image pops up in bunkers 3 and 10 and in the map trench now th that image is leading all the way here to the operations intels now a lot of gamers before thought maybe these intels aren't for nothing well now they're starting to make sense if you go to operation crosswind if you guys remember this operation we had to jump out of a plane and that's when that plane crashed and we had to land in boneyard and that's where you can see a uav getting repaired it's starting to make sense right now if you guys read 0818 it talks about allegiance and chem bio container it talks about allegiance forces retreat through the main gate um it says identify shipment as chem bio chem bio attack for eod recovery now guys just watch the full video and let me see what you guys have to say about this this is really really interesting and I honestly need your guys' opinions on this. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm a big hunter, so I go into full detail. I try to figure out as much as I can, and I'm trying to give this information to you guys so we can all brainstorm together as a team if you guys are in the Easter egg community. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that thumbs up button too for all this hard work, and I would really love some feedback on what you guys found and what you guys think would be a good hunt and a good place to start to looking in Warzone or maybe in multiplayer or even in the operations that they give us so i hope you guys enjoy let's get right into it all right guys so i am on the map trench now this is where my curiosity came into play actually when i seen this i was like yo no way what is going on i seen the symbol same symbol same bunker looking doors as as well in warzone and then a panel now the panel needs codes and of course in warzone we had cards we had to figure out the numbers from the phones like a little code and it looks like we had to find it all over the map here once you type in the code you get inside the bunker and a lot of you guys already know what's going to happen you see all these teddy bears cool information well do not sleep on this information guys let's let's look at this okay this is really important if you look at this tank you see one missile is missing now i'm going to show you a multiplayer map that looks exactly like this where one is missing what could it mean i don't know if you look there's a lot of containers there's another missile could that missile be actually coming from that I don't know but if you look on the right side you can see a lot of multiplayer maps now this is where my curiosity grew even bigger what does these maps even mean what what do i what am i looking for exactly now a lot of players are saying this is nothing this is just one big easter egg but i highly doubt why would they put this in a multiplayer map without like without thinking about this what does pic what what does this picture even indicate i don't know yet i'm trying to i'm trying to figure it out but let's but let's look at the other photos you can see this one here this tank is really important too because in most multiplayer maps it looks like this tank is moving from one map to another map and i'm going to be showing that to you guys as well look at this image here this is really really important now a lot of gamers been asking me where can i find this image in the game because i just can't find it can't put my finger on it i'm going to be showing that to you guys as well and i think a lot of connections are coming together now another important key factor is the toys that are on this table also this big big map is important so is this little chest and all these photos i don't even know who these people are and my curiosity kind of grew and i just kept looking the web trying to figure it out i just still can't but these toys are really really important so i really want you guys to focus on the toys now most of you guys already know there's a lot of broadcasting um, devices in this building and then also a lot of pictures of price as well and a lot of gamers were thinking what is going on here also this phone 
that rings once you type in this code as well now i told my buddy i was like well we're facing the phone here we're looking straight forward we're we're listening to what the person actually says which it actually talks in the multiplayer map but as soon as it stops you hear all these alarm you turn around and it looks like you are trapped like it is a trap that you picked up this phone it looks like they knew that you were in here you picked up this phone and you got trapped by a two mini guns and a teddy bear now you guys already know in bunker 11 two mini guns are presented and given to us so is this a trap Will this actually be something that we will see in Warzone when we interact with a red phone? Because there is an elevator in bunkers, I believe, 1, 3, and 10. So let's get right into it, guys. This is really weird, but the next the next clips will get your attention even more. Even this map here, even this helicopter. So let's get right into it. Alright, guys, so I'm on the map Arklov Peak. Now, if you guys look to my right here, you guys can see two tanks now i'm gonna be popping up a picture here soon so you guys can actually take an image closely so you guys can understand why am i showing it to you like this now look at this carefully look at the image it looks exactly the same now where is this where is this missile where did it go i mean there's mountains war zone you can see mountains and then also there's another picture in the bunkers that look exactly like this i'm gonna pop it up here it looks exactly the same now if you guys know in warzone there used to be this message right behind dam on on a brick i believe and they added it here to this map so he 3axoantn i don't know if that's an actual n but if you guys know you guys know also in warzone there is a shed that looks exactly like this but inside that shed there is a panel on it now it's pretty cool to note that this this right here looks exactly like the one in Warzone. Why would they add it here? I don't know. Maybe just to finish up the map. Could be nothing, but it's not a coincidence. I don't think so. But these tanks are the most important. So let's move on to the next map. All right, guys. So I'm on the map Atlas Superstore. In this map, there is a lot of a lot of things that I need to show you. Now, if you come back here, you can see these toys, and all these toys are in the map trench. Also, if you look in this box, you can see the teddy bears that are just sitting there in the map trench. Now, also on the left, you can see the little toys. Also, I want to note that in cargo, if you do the mini Easter egg, you do have uh, falling beach balls from the sky. It's pretty cool to note. Now, let's get to the important part. These crates look like they are moving from Atlas Superstore. They are actually about to get shipped out somewhere. Nobody knows where. If you look here in the middle, this is the most important part. Where does this actually go? Well, there is another map that shows this, and I will be showing it to you guys here soon, but this is really, really important. There is some numbers on it as well. 1743, could this number actually be really important? I don't know, but I just wanted to show you guys. There's also another number here in front, 137CS, so is that number important? Important. it actually could be let me actually check okay so they're all the same so this is really really important I also want to show you guys this here if you look to the left you can see some writings and some numbers on this crate and these words are actually in prison on the walls I will be showing that to you guys here shortly now if you look at the octopus of course even on the Intel on the money you can see this octopus so it's all starting to link up it's really important all this nuclear waste here just in these crates all over the bunkers on the walls all these myths Missiles as well it's pretty pretty amazing that this is all over this map where is this all getting shipped nobody actually knows but if we fo follow it we might actually discover it and put some clues together so let's move on to the next map all right guys so I'm on the map cargo as you can see everything is moving from Atlas's superstore if you guys can look the nuclear waste is moving the crates are opening up so we can see what's inside of them also the arms cargo is moving as well back here 
all these vases that lie in and then also the gold bars are going to another map which I will be showing to you guys and then if you turn around you guys can see the most important piece of the map which is the radioactive crate now this is the hidden cargo ghost is talking about on the top it says 5150 and then you guys can see the symbol here now where is this cargo moving this is up to us to figure out why is it so important well we got the intel in week three the hidden cargo and this is the image that we got on it so this is our time to find out the story behind it now if you guys look underneath you guys can see the pink unicorn now what is the pink unicorn actually doing here well if you guys remember in trench this was on the table so this is really really important now i know some of you guys know about the easter egg with the beach balls on this map but you do not have to shoot this unicorn to trigger that easter egg so what is this unicorn actually doing here is this telling us that we are on the right steps for the easter egg guys i'm not quite sure but also if you come back here there is something on the floor and then on it there is a code or a number or some kind of importance 699007 so it's it, it's engraved so it must be important guys i just wanted to show you that as well also back here there is a number that says lot 1258n9960 that could be important too i've seen other ones with grenades on it and that have the same crates in warzone but these are different from them because they do have the octopus symbol on it so i just wanted to include that guys so let's move on to the next map All right, guys, so if you look to the left here, you can actually see the nuclear waste containers being out, like let out. Like what is actually going on? Now, if you look to the right, you can see this helicopter. So here's the image that we find in bunkers um, three and 10 and also in trench. Now, if you guys look at that image, you can actually see some blue writing on it. Now, if you look here, you can see the symbol. Now, if you look right, you can actually see some blue numbers. Um, I believe it says B142983. And then also 1988. Now, maybe there's a backstory to this. Maybe this helicopter doesn't have to do anything with the Easter egg, but I just wanted to note it. It's pretty cool. Also, there's a lot of blood here. Um, there is a story to this. So I just wanted to show you guys this helicopter and also that image. 4 and 8k uh, could be important as well i don't know but i just want you guys to explore it check for yourselves it's just weird that um on the image there is blue writing on the on the paper that we see in the bunkers and then also on this helicopter there is blue numbers so i just wanted to show that to you guys it's pretty cool that the um, nuclear waste is letting out so it could be uh important as well so let's move on to the next map all right guys so i'm on the map bridge if you guys can look in the water now other maps have the same type of water with i think the nuclear waste from the containers actually went inside you can see the little smoky coming out of it also in the back here if you did not see my last video i found a radio broadcasting system that actually works so make sure to check that out it actually talks on the map bridge now this map is really important because it is in the bunkers on the wall also in this little house you can see ghost now ghost does give us intel that we have to find in the map war zone also this map might blow up because of all the c4s that's planted here maybe a live event maybe a new uh map surrounding the bridge also these are found in war zone so it's pretty cool to note now uh here's a image of the tank that i got off the wall again from the bunkers and it looks exactly like these tanks and i think these tanks are making their way to the next map so let's move on all right guys so i'm on the map grazna raid as you can see the tanks they made their way down here destroying everything in their path they got reinforcements but if you come back here you can see a toy or a teddy bear with a star on it we all know that this bear actually has some kind of importance and then if you come back here on the map trench this is what you can see that is right in front of me i will be showing that to you guys as well the tanks are really really important now in the back here you guys can see a train station looks like uh the cargo came here the hidden cargo came here and it took off on the train uh, also you can hear a train in this map so if you guys stay quiet just listen up to it if you guys want to go check it for yourself you can but it looks like the, the hidden cargo came here and it went to the next map so that's why this map actually have some kind of importance also there's a lot of crates that came from the cargo map here 
um, that are right in front of me so this could be important as well so let's move on to the next map All right, guys, I am on the map Gun Runner. This is exactly what you see in the bunkers. Um, this image right here. Now, this is really important. Grozna Raid had a train railroad, and then now Gun Runner has the same thing. Looks like everything came past here. Everything. I have a lot of proof that indicates that. Even, even the hidden cargo was here. But you just gotta keep watching the video to understand. Now, if you come inside here, I'm gonna show you an image that clarifies this image right here, right in front of me. Here it is on the screen. Now that looks exactly the same, right? Exactly the same. Now, everything that was on cargo ship, everything stayed here except for the hidden cargo. Except for the hidden cargo, everything else stayed here. Everything else came here. Um, you come outside, you guys can see the trains, and then over here we can see more of the rockets and then you guys can see that lot 1258N that I was showing you in the map cargo and then also more missiles from cargo and then more rocket launchers more crates have been opened up and if you make your way back here in this little storage unit you guys can see more of everything that was on cargo now now here comes the interesting part guys if you make your way all the way in the back whenever I'm, when I was telling you about the bases and the lion and all of that cool things well here's the lion here so that just tells me everything from cargo came here everything here goes the vase and it's just it's just crazy to me man it looks like that whole arms cargo dropped off here you guys can see the gold plated car from warzone looks like these guys were just chilling here they got everything and they were just moving it so that hidden cargo was here that kim bio was here and i got proof so just keep watching the video so you guys can understand what else is going on so let's move on to the next map okay guys if you made it this far into the video this is one of the most important maps of all now if you look here this was exactly in bunker 11 32451-7 now why is this map so important well let's actually look inside everything got moved here as well well the most important things got moved here if you guys look to right in front of me it looks like they've been working on the chems like on the chemicals right here it looks like they've been working on the chemicals also on the map docks you guys can see a skeleton and it looks like exactly like this head here's a picture of that and it looks like they've been working on the chemicals here in this hideout everything's everything's being done here so this map is really really important once you make your way upstairs looks like all the stuff from the superstore came here this is the most important things the radioactive stuff you come here and voila guys if you look on the wall if you look on the wall these look like the generators from a uh, war zone from the dam this looks exactly like the generators from dam this is crazy guys also the sticky notes all in war zone uh on the walls and the bunkers and the map trench the radioactive everything's here from the atlas superstores if you guys know atlas superstores man the atlas word is all over the uh blue and yellow books that are in war zone bunkers and now if you come here there is another skeleton phase and then they're just working on stuff here man now if we make our way to the next building um also i just want to show you this before i do there's a lot of guns here it looks like from the crates now if we go to the next building here this is when everything starts to hit now everything here is from bunkers you can't even lie to me and say it's not but if you look on the floor you guys can see all the images and everything and there goes ghost there goes passports maybe there's something of importance on this passport here but if you look on the wall guys what do you see what do you see it's starting to make sense now if you guys look there is a hit marker on this black dot right on this black dot it's actually making sense now it moves down to the next location and it looks like there's an arrow pointing somewhere here 
from this sticky note. It looks exactly like the perfect outline of that black line and it continues on to this location here. Now there is the picture of the tanks. You guys can see all the sticky notes. This right here is on the table in the map trench. So what is actually going on? Everything's starting to make sense. Everything's adding up to this point. Now, if we go on to the next map, everything will actually make up for this area. It's just, it's just crazy to me. We cannot sleep on this. Why would this be here if it's not important? Why, why is this photo in the war zone bunkers and also in the sheds? And the craziest part is, why is it in the map trench? What is going on? What is gonna happen? Let's move on to the next map. This is ridiculously crazy, guys. All right, guys, so I'm on the map rust. If you guys can see the radioactive crate, I don't know if the crane is picking it up or actually setting it down. If you guys can look, it's like it been here for a while because of all the graffiti on these crates. And then this one looks like it went through a lot of hell because it's turned, damaged. Now, it, this, all of this can be could have easily came from the map gun runner because there is a railroad and this railroad keeps pushing forward and it's going to take us to the next map where this cargo actually goes so let's actually follow it all right guys so this is the first time we see this 5150 radioactive crate actually open now i'm thinking maybe this was a decoy because they already had a lot of these throughout the maps and you guys seen that and they went to the hideout map and i believe they did everything they could to take everything out and then other people tried to attack this and it didn't get far now if you look inside of these there's lights in them they probably attacked at nightfall and there's some more up here and then also these two all the way in the back and the craziest part about this if you go to the middle one you can see a lot of blood and a lot of like bullet holes everywhere so something went down and it was really really serious could this actually be talking about the intel that we just picked up in the hidden cargo intel week three i mean i don't know it could be also a lot of cops are at the scene here is this what she was talking about they came to the chem bio but everything was already gone so it could be guys let's move on to the next map all right guys so i'm on this map here i don't know if it's anything related but there is a lot of nuclear stuff that went down like the nuclear waste was all here i think they collected as much as they could because you can see the containers here um and yeah so if you come outside you can see these dogs that were added into warzone everybody's saying it's ghost dogs so it's pretty cool to add that it's actually here also the line represents a lot in this game looks like it but yeah i just wanted to show this to you guys now moving on to the last map 